Three years ago today, a gunman charged into the Capitol Gazette building in Annapolis, opening fire and killing five staff members. It was the largest killing of journalists in U.S. history. So today, city officials unveil the memorial for the victims and freedom of the press. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs joins us now from the park where family and officials gathered today for the unveiling. Abby? Just around the corner from City Dock, in a highly trafficked area of downtown Annapolis, now stands a memorial for the five Capitol Gazette staffers who told the stories of this community and were killed for doing their jobs. To gift this memorial to the citizens of Annapolis, the guardians of the First Amendment Memorial. For the Annapolis community, survivors, and family members, this memorial means everything. It is perfect. The new memorial sits in Newman Street Park as a reminder of what happened three years ago at the Capitol Gazette and the importance of the freedom of the press. We'll be here to remind us of those we lost, but also to encourage us to think about the foundational freedom that we as Americans hold dear. Without a free press, we can't have a functioning democracy. It consists of a large wall with the words of the First Amendment inscribed on it. A bronzed version of the first page of the Capitol Gazette the day after the shooting. And five pillars to represent each victim. Gerald Fishman, Rob Hyacin, Rebecca Smith, John McNamara, and Wendy Winters. It pays tribute not to the heinous act of June 28th, but to the loss, losses of those we loved, and to the triumph of those strong writers and editors who rallied and got that damn paper out. The project was a community-wide effort between state and local leaders, nonprofits, and individual donors, supported by the Caucus of African American Leaders and initiated by the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Committee because they knew some of the victims. These people were our family, our co-workers, and our friends and vital members of our community. Governor Larry Hogan was not in attendance, but proclaimed today Freedom of the Press Day in honor of the five staffers. In Annapolis, Abby Isaacs, WMAR 2 News. And testimony in the competency phase of the trial of the man who killed those Capitol Gazette employees starts tomorrow. A jury was selected on Friday. 300 men and women went through the selection process to narrow it down to the final 12. The gunman has pleaded guilty. This portion of the trial would determine whether he should be held criminally responsible or declared mentally incompetent. Testimony is expected to last two weeks.